<laughs> you don't need to talk. Hi guys, it's Miss Farragut and my son Carter. <laughs> He's being a little shy. Um, we just thought we would take part in some of the, somebody's texting me, in some of the fun with drawing new things and we've been doing them all the time so we thought it'd be nice for us to do something too. So today we are going to do, um, what are we drawing today? Fire truck. A fire truck. We love fire trucks because Carter's daddy is a fireman, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we draw them all the time. Carter's room is a fire truck room too, huh? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. so hopefully I can do this right. Um, my videos have all been upside down, so hopefully today we do them the right way. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to try and keep my stuff simple. Carter's only four, so everything that we do, we're going to try and keep it a little bit for younger artists. So all we need right now is a pencil and paper. Um, later on, you can color it with whatever you want. Oil pastels, crayons, colored pencils, markers. Carter really likes markers, so he'll probably use markers, and I will probably use colored pencils. So obviously, when we're done, if you wanna trace it in a black marker, it'll kinda make your lines pop. But right now, we're gonna start in pencil just in case we make mistakes, we can fix them, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Carter likes to start with the wheels. So um, I'm gonna do wheels, but the fire truck's wheels are kind of far apart. So I'm gonna put my hand in the bottom on the bottom of my paper in the middle, and I'm gonna draw one wheel on one side. Which shape is a wheel, Carter? Um, circle. And then I'm gonna put another wheel on the other side because the fire truck is kind of long. Good, all right. So the next thing that we're gonna do is connect those wheels with a straight line. Boop, your turn. Good job. And we need a long line on the end. Yes, Carter knows how to draw fire trucks. Can you guys tell? We're gonna do one on one side and one on the other side. Can you make them a little bit longer for me? What ones? Your front line and your back line. Okay. Maybe make it come out to right here and make this one come out to right here. Good job, let me see the back, right? Maybe right here. All right, good job. Okay, so now we're gonna do the front of the truck, which is the <clears throat> cab where the driver's seat comes. We're gonna come up a little bit and then stop. Good, okay, so we're gonna add like a windshield and stuff in your quarter, so I just wanna make it look on a slant just a tiny bit, like a diagonal like that and stop. Can you do that? Just a little bit maybe to right here. Can you draw a line? Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna come and we're doing a lot of straight lines first because we're just trying to do the shape of our fire truck and then after we'll add a bunch of details. All right, I'm gonna come back a little bit and stop. That's maybe four fingers long. Good job. Okay, so this is gonna be the cab of the truck. We really like ladder trucks, so we're definitely gonna add a ladder to the back. I'm gonna come down, we probably could go all the way down. Let's go all the way down like this. Yeah, Can you do a straight line down? That looks great. Okay, so this is gonna be where we do like the windshield and where the driver sits and the grill and the bumper and all that kind of stuff, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the back. Like I said, Carter likes the ladder trucks because that's what his daddy drives. So we're gonna try and make a ladder truck. We haven't done one of those in a while. All right, so now I'm gonna come from the back and I'm gonna go up and I kinda want it to be about the same height as the other side. Draw the dot for me. Oh, perfect. You like the dots? It makes it a little easier? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Straight up. Perfect. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm gonna come over, and I'm gonna maybe leave like a two finger space right here, and then I'm gonna stop. Can you do that? Yeah, can you a do that? A straight line with two finger space. Go ahead, connect those. I love it. Okay, so now we're gonna come straight down. I know you can do that. All the way down? Yeah, all the way down. Good. Now, they have this little section in the inside, right, where all of the gauges are for the water valves and all that. So, we're going to draw a little line from left to right right here. Can you do that? And we'll draw, like, those little valves and stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, little buttons. Mm-hmm, where you let the water out and all that. Remember when Daddy mm -hmm. let you do that? Okay. So, the next thing that we're going to do is add some details. You want to do the windows first? Uh -huh. Okay. So, look, right here... Where we did that slant, we're gonna come in just a little bit. Come in from here to here. Hmm. Just a straight line. 
Good, and then we're just gonna come up, I want you to connect it to this point right here where we curved in, and that'll be our windshield where the driver looks out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we need to draw a square window. Um, I'm gonna do that right here. You, can you draw a square window next to yours? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go straight line down. Good, and then I'm gonna come over and stop. Over and stop. And then straight up. And then straight up. And then connect at the top. Which shape is that? What shape is that? Rectangle. A rectangle, yeah. Okay, so we need to add, what's in the front of the truck? Do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. What's it called? Lights. Ooh, lights, you wanna do the lights? Uh -huh. I was gonna do the grill, but we can do the lights. Okay. Um, let's do... No, a grill first and then the lights. Okay, let's do the grill. Okay, so we're gonna come in. Straight line in. Boop. Good job. Straight line down. Straight line down. And then straight line back to connect. Back to connect. Now a grill has these things on it. What are these called? Stripes. Stripes or lines. Good. Can you draw some stripes on yours? Some lines for the grill? Good job, that's awesome, dude. All right, let's give it a bumper. We're gonna come out right here. We're gonna come down like this. A little further, a little further, keep going. Down, 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 perfect. And look, we're gonna come under and then up. Can you do that? Under and then up. Perfect, that's a cute little bumper. All right. Now, speaking of lights, I'm not going to really draw my lights on here because we're going to keep this kind of simple. If you want to come back and add lights later, we can, but I want to put the lights on the top of the truck. Do you want to do that? Uh, yeah, baby, right. At the top of the truck, right? This right is where the sirens, there. when the lights go on? Yeah, we have the right one right here. All right, come on. There, we have the right light. You do it. I'm going to do a little rectangle. I'm going to go up, over, and down like this. Good, and then I'm gonna do another one on top of it, if that's okay, I'm gonna come up. It's gonna be slanted just a little bit, over and down. And if we really wanted to be super cool about this, we could put like light lines and stuff, but we'll do that at the end. And then down, cool, I like that. That's gonna put out some cool lights when they have an emergency. I'm trying to make some, some that's what I was thinking. I love that. You took that right out of my brain. That is so funny. I was going to put the light lines like this. Yep. I love that. <laughs> Super cool, dude. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is add some details to this right here. Um, I'm going to do a bumper around here. I don't know if that's what it's called. Can you do that? Can you do a line around your wheels like that? It's not a bumper. What's it called? Um, a wind keeper. <laughs> Okay, I like it. The windkeeper. I think, I think it so. might be a fender. I don't know. I think it might be a fender. Good job. Okay, you want to do the rest of the wheels while we're down here? Let's put another circle in the middle for the rim. Good, that looks cool. We just want to put some black around it. Well, yeah, we'll put some black around and there. We have to, and we can color, color the black inside <laughs> right there. Because yeah. you have to keep it white. White. Okay. All right. Are you ready to do the back of it now? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to do it. Okay. I know that you like to put the hose on the outside. Now, normally the hose is not on the truck like that anymore, but a long time ago, they used to have the hose right here. Do you remember what shape that is? Uh -huh. What that's called? What kind of line? Semicircle. Not a symbol. It gets, no, not a semicircle. It's a spiral. Can you say spiral? Spiral. And Carter likes doing the hose on the side, so we are going to do that just because that's what he really likes today. So we're going to do that. Okay, you ready? I'm going to do it all the way on the back of the truck right here. I'm going to start small. And it's gonna, a spiral. It's going to get bigger. And I'm going to start right here. And bigger. I think that's enough. I'm going to stop right there. Good. And then on the end of our spiral, we want to put the hose spout. So we're going to do a straight line. A straight line. Good. And then we're going to come out. That's good. I'm going to come out on the other side too, like this. Right here. Yep, up to there. 
Good job. And on the end of mine, I like to put like a circle where the water would come out. Yeah. We really like doing spirals and drawing the hose like that. But normally now we wouldn't see the fire trucks with that. They have a bunch of different um, compartments, right? Which we need to draw those compartments. You ready to draw some rectangles? Mm -hmm. And we need some buttons right there. <laughs> okay, let's do some rectangles. So I'm going to do one compartment right here, a straight line down. Straight line down. And then I'm going to draw a line over. Over. Mm -hmm. And then down. And then down. And then connect. And then to connect. Good. And these are compartments that slide up and down. So I'm going to draw a little oval handle down here. So that way they can grab it and open it. Cool. You want to draw another compartment? I think I can fit one more right here. Can you fit one more next to there? Mm -hmm, I think so. Okay, I'm gonna put a straight line next to it. Straight line next to it. A little line over. Don't go too far. Make sure you can fit it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Okay. And then I let them get to draw a little line down. Carter's already doing it. And then connect. Good. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna draw another little oval handle. Cool. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think right here. Sometimes you can get like a, they have like a fire extinguisher or they'll have more compartments. What do you want to do down here? I think like with some buttons. Wait, the buttons go here. All right. Well, let's do the buttons. You seem ready to do the buttons. So let's do some buttons. I'm going to draw four circles. One, two, three, four for some vowels. You want to do that? I don't even know if that's what they're called, but Good. And then I want to change it a little bit. I'm going to do some oval ones like this. One. See how many I can fit. Two. Three. Oh, cool, dude. Some nice circles. Okay. And I'm going to do some more. One, two, three, four circles. No, whatever. You can do however many you want. Mine has four, but if you could fit four right there, that's perfect. Go ahead, bud. However you want to do it. Does not have to look exactly like mine, as long as we're just having some fun. Good. I'm gonna do some ovals again. I can fit three. I think I'm gonna leave mine like this. I think that's enough buttons. What do you think? I think so. Okay. Do we want? Can you fit another compartment right here? Do you want to do another one? Uh uh. No, you want to leave it like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am gonna put a wider compartment, just another rectangle that's as long as these two. I think I right here. Do you want to do that? No, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna put two handles on this one. Good. Now I know you're really excited to do the ladder at the top, so let's put a bumper on the back, over, down, back, and connect. Is that a is bumper? That, is that the light? It's a bumper. Bumper. Mhm. Mm Good. Now it is really important for our fire truck to have lights too. So if you want to go in here and add another little rectangle body so that it has reverse lights. We definitely need that because we don't want our firemen getting in a wreck, right? I'm gonna add a little semicircle in here to make it look like a light. Let's do one on yours too. Can you write a little semicircle in here? I like that. Okay, let's do a ladder. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do a ladder. So excited. Okay, I'm gonna do um, two little lines up at the back of my truck like this where it holds the ladder. Two little lines up. Good. You are great at following directions. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of how I want to do this to make this look realistic because I don't want it to. Maybe the ladder is slightly up or do you want it to be straight? Up. Up a little bit? Okay. No, I like it to be like here. <laughs> okay. Why don't you do yours up and I'll do mine straight. Deal? Okay, deal. I'm going to do mine straight line like this. He's going to do his going up. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Um, we want to make it a little bit longer than that too. So we're gonna do two lines, and these two lines are going to match. They're parallel, right? Mm -hmm. 
And then I am going to make mine look a little bit more realistic, Carter. I'm gonna curve up and then do another line that's the same. Wait, I wanna do it straight again. Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I like how you're doing it. I think you should stick with it. You need a little help though? Mm -hmm. I only like it straight. Okay. I only like those fire trucks straight because I, because those. That's are, totally fine, dude. Let's do a straight line from here to here. Can you do that? Mm -hmm. So while Carter's doing that, I'm gonna do another line. This is gonna be another line that matches. I'm just making it a little bit thicker and I'm just curving to neck, connect with a C on the end. Good, can you do another line that's right next to it from here to here? Or do you not wanna make it 3D? What do you think? I wanna make it up here. Okay, go ahead, I'm cool with that. That's gonna look awesome. Now, when I go to do mine, I'm going to do X's. Carter, are you going to do X's or are you going to do straight lines? Straight lines. I only like straight lines. Okay, so can... he's going to do that. I'm going to do X's just because if this was a ladder truck, and like I said, I would normally make it 3D, but we're going to keep it kid-friendly. I'm just going to put my X's. If this was a ladder that was folded because our ladder trucks go up pretty high, the ladders would have two rows and they would be next to each other and this is actually what it would look like. It's more like X's because it's folded. Okay, ooh, I like those lines. That looks so cool. Let me see. Yes, perfect. You're so good at following directions. You're doing a really great job. All right, while Carter's doing that, I'm gonna think about what other kind of details I wanna add to my truck. We haven't drawn this in a long time. I'm trying to remember all the little things I like to do. Um, I mean, you can do like a mirror here if you want by doing like an oval or something like that. That's normally what I would do. Um, I could erase some of this window and put a rectangle with curved corners like this. So we need to go, And then uh, you would just connect it with a Mom, we like this. Line. We uh -huh. need like another guy in back of the front. Oh, you mean like another window for somebody who's in the back seat? Mhm. Mm you can do that. Can you squeeze another window in here right here? Mm -hmm. I can't fit one on mine, but you can totally do that. Go ahead. I can like well, How about we fit one right there? Whatever you want. This is your truck, buddy. <clears throat> The door. Choosing Okay, I'm ready to, I'm gonna put, oh, that's your door? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put my door right here. I'm gonna put, this that's is for my the, door. That's for my other guy. Mm -hmm. And two, like Carter's saying, and if you wanted to do a door, we could just draw a straight line next to your window like this. And you could connect it in and you could do the same thing on this side, right? And try and make I'm a gonna, door. I'm gonna put a window on my their doors I'm gonna are put, short. I'm gonna put a window on my door. And then I'm gonna put a handle right here. I'm gonna do a little rectangle or a square. What is that for? I'm gonna make a handle to open the door. I think you have one on yours already. And then I'm gonna do an oval like this. Oh, I need that for my for my big one right there. So. I'm gonna leave my fire truck like this. I think that this is um, a pretty good start to our fire truck. Um, I am gonna color mine with colored pencils and I think Carter wants to use markers, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started in that. Remember, if you wanna trace over this with a black permanent marker, you can do that too, just to kind of make those lines pop or you can go back and trace it in black at the end when you're done coloring it. That also really helps to define all of those lines. But remember, we're just doing this for fun because Carter really likes drawing. So I'll be back in a minute and we will color. Okay, we're 
we're all done coloring ours. We only used a few colors, red, gray, blue, black? Black. Yellow, did I say yellow? Um, and obviously Carter went back and traced over some of his lines in black, because we thought it looked a little better, huh, bud? Mm -hmm. And I just traced over mine with a darker colored pencil here and there. Okay, we hope you had a lot of fun with us. We do this all the time, so we thought maybe we'd videotape them for you guys, since I won't get to see you, and I just wanted you to know how much I miss you guys, and drawing with you, and seeing you learn all kinds of new things. Um, you wanna say anything? Yeah, if you're still coloring, you can keep doing it. And bye. Oh, all right, bye guys. <laughs>